Hello, hello. We're just kind of getting going. Uh, we're going to be skipping the buttons tonight because the cues have been Cues were mighty and defeated us. Mm-hmm. With any luck, we will be back on them next week because they need to do the uh, New Year's holiday. And next week will be the last Sunday it's available. Yeah. So, we're going to be with the continuing adventures of a pair of warriors of light and darkness and their crates full of Teenex Kleenex tissues. Something like that. <laughs> uh, last night was bad. Yes, yes it was. But we have side quests. Side quests usually aren't that bad. Usually. <laughs> here. Okay. Twitch finally got off of, um, ads. No, I think... Yeah, I could still do side quests as, uh... Um, we should be able to do side quests of anything that's at 80 or better. Okay, they're doing uh, the level thing? They have been so far, unless they change that. And I'm seeing 80 level sync on the um couple of icons i can make out in the mini map gotcha well true this is level 85 anyway so i guess it doesn't much matter unless i want to do you, something no. completely different for me it matters because well this is my number two class for having leveled at the moment and it's 82. yeah let's do something about that Good news is it's most of the way through 82, so these side quests will probably get me to 83. Knock on wood. And if we want... Do we have the uh, writing map for here? Um... I think it's something like Gorlamold we missed, or some other. Uh, we do not have the writing map for Gorlamold. I don't right. think... Do we have it for here? And I think we've got all the others. Uh... Shared Fate... We should at least qualify um, for the Thavnir, so I think we do. Page two. Uh, and yeah, speeds. everything is at rank two other than Garlemald, and two we haven't been to yet. Yeah, um, the only one we're missing is Garlemald. We do have it for Thavnir. Yeah. Um, once we clear this round of side quests, we might want to consider doing the, th the next three Fates and Garlemald real fast just to get that clear and give me a chance for a little bit more level. Yeah, the main problem I've been having there is the fates are so There's rare. hardly any fates in Gorlamalt. Yeah, yeah, that's why we didn't get through them. That's right. Furaban? The Guardian's Shield. Furaban is wringing her hands nervously. And, ah, uh, more wine dirk soup. Yes. <laughs> yes! yes. Just the wine dirk soup and the story behind that description. Yes. <laughs> he gets my knees. My ears are catching up to me. You there, traveler. Might you have some time to spare for an old maid? As I fled from the chaos that erupted, I took a terrible spill and dropped my charm that's very important to me. Can you believe it? One of those flea-infested Hanuman's lang langers scooped it up off the ground and scurried off into the woods. Would that I still had my youth, I'd skewer that fiend at the end of my spear. Alas, figure is not what it once was, and I'm still aching from that fall, besides. So we have an ex-lancer. You should get your wounds treated first. If I wait for my wounds to heal, who knows where that monster will get to. I must have that charm back. Please, will you lend me your stout arms? The animal ran off towards the font of Maya. Fell it quickly and returned my charm to me. Please, 
How else am I going to defend myself from fate's cruel machinations? Yeah, apparently, uh, action kind of got chewed out by the missus for staying up so late last night. Um, I was thinking he was up a bit late, so I don't blame her. <laughs> he then followed that in screams with in spoilers. Yes. Speak of the langers. An unexpected guide. The Hanuman Langer is beckoning you with uncertain intent. <laughs> eh, never mind. I'm not gonna try that. I can't do that. It appears this creature wants you to follow it. What heart could come from doing so? What? I mean, really, you have to ask that question. Just a second. I think this guy is getting confused between job quests and role quests. Yeah. Hello, Octi. We have a troubled father here. Flowers for the family. The man is desperately searching for something on the horizon. Oh, you're the one who saved Mevin's child. Might you help a father in need? My daughter is nowhere to be found, and I fear she's gone off into the woods by her lonesome. Others from the village have joined the search, but our numbers are few. We've even yet to reach Peruta. If you could add your eyes to the search, I would be ever so grateful. My daughter was wearing a red coat when last I saw her. I will make my way to Perusa, so please bring her there if you find her. May the gods grant you insight. Let's see, that's three. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and there's, like one there's more one more on the opposite side. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's in the building. Okay. Indeed. Hello, Miss Fretful. My father, my fisher. The fretful Akasadra uh, seeks someone to brave the wilderness. I've heard about all the good you've done for our village, and we're all thankful for it. I hate to impose upon your generosity further, but if you have a moment to spare, could you lend me your stout arm? Well, since we're both stout, <laughs> you can have both of them. Mm-hmm. I would ask you to search for my father. I haven't seen him for bells, and after asking around, they seem... It seems he may have left the village and ventured north. The divinities only know why he went alone, but if I were to follow him, I'd likely end up at the bottom of some beast's belly within a malm. Please, find him and return him safely to our home. Well, I know why he went alone. If he didn't go alone, we wouldn't have a quest. <laughs> Do the north one first. 
Sure, whatever. I'm open. Yeah, the only problem with you doing these is in 82s. This is kind of an 85 region. Yep. Of course, the gear is good enough that it survives till about 85. So, I'm not exactly undergeared for the area. No, no, you're not. And of course, I am healed. So, especially with the go around, I should be able to survive just fine. And of course, with you around. Yeah, well. Are we done, Bahamut? Yes. <laughs> now, between two minions, that's you and Bogo, I should be fine. Gee, thanks. I'm a minion now. Is that yes. any better than being a retainer? No. And, and, Boko is not a minion, he's a companion. Your Gila Cat is a minion. <laughs> okay, so I have two minions and two companions. <laughs> there's Boko and Selene, and there's Gila Cat and then you. Gee, thanks. Uh, what am I supposed to do with you? Feed me. Hold my stuff. <laughs> Just read the line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank the heavens. I'd resigned myself to becoming food for those dreadful things. What are you doing way out here? What's that? My daughter sent you to find me. I thought no one saw me leave the village, but I suppose I am not so sly as I thought. And now I've caused her and you no end of worry. The number of people fleeing our, into our village increases by the day, and although I would never begrudge them protection, it does put a strain on our food supplies. I took up my old fishing equipment hoping I could make some small contribution. Children need hearty meals to grow, after all. Filling our stores is, is the least I can do to ease us through these troubled times. I think you could help this old fool on his errand. I think we can that manage much we something. Can do. Your generosity is much appreciated. I've already set up several cages near the water. All you have to do is check them and bring me anything they've caught. Speaking of which, Rift, get out here. Okay, check the cages. I think we can do that. You know, I'm supposed to be the one low enough to attract everything in the zone. Now, no eating these. These have to go back to the village. No, no, no. They're for eating. Later. Ooh, such restraint. You know, after he cooks them. You know, you are an accomplished chef yourself. Yeah, but I wanna, wouldn't want to put them out. the river wasn't too cold for you. So what'd you find? I hope my fishing skills haven't gone rusty in my old age. Fish cage. Cage containing foolish fish who took the bait. <laughs> I see what you did there. Ah, that's what I like to see. Plump and juicy, just what we need. This will keep the refugees fed for another day, I reckon. 
And that's how we have to get through this, one day at a time. All right, let's return to my daughter. I'm sure she's had her fill of worry on my account. Okay, one down, two to go. Hold on. Okay, take two. They're small? Maybe. Okay, there should be something around here. Whatever it is, it's hiding. Is that it up there? There it is! Yeah! I was gonna say to head for the slope. Hey, little one, you're kind of far from home. Who... who are you? My father! Oh! such a fool. I wanted to pick flowers before visiting Perosa, but I never wanted to cause worry. Still, since you're here, could you help me? I can't visit Perusa without each... without each... Nah. I can't... You can't visit Perusa without one each for the Manusa and the Murga. Let's find those. Then we we'll, can be on our way. Lost Girl is now accompanying you. Yep, yep, yep. Got to use the, the new mechanic. Don't worry, Topi will protect you! <laughs> mm -hmm. As he wanders aimlessly about the battlefield, doing nothing. <laughs> Use a flower. The divine Manusa love these flowers, much like we do. Mother says that the red petals symbolize life and remind the divinities of the lifeblood that's the source of their power. Checking with the lost girl. Mm. We can't go to the shrine without something to offer the Manusa and the Merga. Everyone knows that. Right. Everyone. Well, now we know it too. Yeah, okay. There we go. Mother told me these orange flowers are favored by the gods of Murga. Doesn't the color of these petals remind you of the rising sun? It nourishing rays are the source of the power of the Murga, and they cherish these flowers above all others. Okay, we're next little one. Okay, off that direction. Gotcha. And of course, because she's following, I don't dare, dare just mount up and run off. <laughs> yeah. Looks 
like we've got another visitor up there. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we found your little girl. Oh, thank the gods. I'm so glad she's safe. I apologize for troubling you, but I want, really wanted to see Mother again. I couldn't imagine visiting Perusa without these flowers in hand. I'd offer these to the gods. Surely they'll allow Mother to return to us, right? Will you come with us? Here, you offer this flower to the Murga, and I'll offer this one to the Mansunya. The gods will be happy to receive them. Checking with the father? No, the father, not Rift. Her mother was taken by one of those unholy beasts. Let's offer them the flowers together. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait to see Mother again. Yes, yes. Why don't we return home? We can prepare the soup she liked so much. Thank you, travelers, for all you've done. Meet me again at the village, and I'll see that you're rewarded for your kindness. Take care and be safe. It's kind of dangerous out there. Well, not for us, but, um, yeah. It's dangerous to go alone, take a topi. means well. He's trying to help. Mm-hmm. Okay, monkey. Anytime you're ready. Yeah, well. Eat a free hellfire. <laughs> Nope, not that one. No? I got a charm. Uh, I did not. You're just not charming enough. Or else he just wasn't charming enough for the both of us. There, Bahamut. Wow. Took me treat. Still nothing? Still nothing. Nope. Let's see, this is the Guardian's Shield. How are you saying? Sure. And what's it saying for you? Zero of one. Hmm. That's odd. But there's a reason why I wanted to mount up. I kind of figured. 
I mean, I don't think you enjoy raiding Urza quite so much that you'd do it for zero reason. Oh. I discovered this. this. I discovered this last night when I was uh, searching for fishing holes. Very good. Any um, others and or. I know of at vistas? least one other. How about vistas? Mm, not sure on vistas. This is the zone where there's one waiting for us once we can fly, I remember. that is even capable of being the stubborn. There it is. Oh, thankfully. I was getting worried. Now we need to sneak through all the tigers. Yeah, this is the one we spotted from the other end of the zone and couldn't get to. Mm, yes, okay. Yeah, we would have been up there. Okay. That means we are only missing two on foot. Indeed. Actually, checking my Aether Compass. To the north. And we've east. seen the blue bangs for the two um, questing ones we need. Do, 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 do. To the north. Okay. How far? 390. Might okay, be in the map little. ping we can't get to, but that looks like a flying ping. Yeah. No. 93 to the north. There it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, finally hit draw distance. Yeah, the burning field is going to be pure flight. Not sure how we missed that one. It didn't look up quite far enough, quite at the right time. Oh, yeah. Northwest. Logical enough. So let's do a turn in set. Yeah. Oh, and we, sorry, we still have a uh, quest to do. My bad. Yeah. It's Hello, been like strange that. longer. You went you off, want off in a different direction. Show us something. <laughs> Creature appears to want you to follow it deeper into the jungle. Yeah, there's a surprise. Try not to fall behind.
Well, he's having us go some distance. Mm hmm. Ah. Come upon an elderly Ari woman bent over in pain and breathing haggardly. Provide what treatment you can for to her you can. Yeah, we can do that. Thank you. I feel much better now. A terrible beast befell me, and I fled as quickly losing my bearings in the thick woods. This kindly creature guided me to safety, but my wounds pained me. How long ago was it? Bells ago? Days ago? I cannot say. Of course, little friend. Thank you for delivering this kind soul to me. I owe you my life. We shouldn't stay here. From out, from nowhere outside the village, is sa gates is safe. I believe I can return safely on my own. Seek me out, and I shall see you rewarded for what you've done. Hmm. Evolution of a new beast tribe, maybe. Ah. Uh. Mm, maybe. I am curious why this one, when all the others are, you know, aggressively hostile. I'm back for turnips at this point, I think. Yeah. And then pick up the, uh, woos. And go, um, um, aether current hunting. Where's your Opa Opa friend? Ah, my savior arrives at last. I feel right as rain now, all thanks to your ministrations. And that creature, of course, I haven't seen it since returning here. The legends of the island say that the Hanuma Langers are servants of the divinities, appearing when they design to show an interest in the worldly affairs. I think there may be some truth to those tales. I must remember to make an offering when I am able. As for your rewards, however, please take this and know that I shall never forget the goodwill you've shown me. All part of the service, ma'am. Uh, this may not be enough. Welcome. My daughter is safe and sound and in high spirits. Perusa is said to be a place where we can commune with the spirits of our ancestors. Doubtless, she believes that her little expedition will bring her lost mother back. Regardless, I will see that she doesn't wander off by herself again. You've proven yourself worthy of your reputation today. We found your charm after some work. You are returned at last, and none too soon. I feel that something terrible is soon to happen. Were you able to slay that monster? And several others. Worn charm. Worn trinket carved from Giant's Call. Looks kind of like a dragon head. Uh huh. Yes, this is it. This is it. I can already feel my vitality returning, such as it is. Death shall have to wait for many years yet. Thank you, Traveler. I received this charm in my youth when I was handed my spear and deemed a, tr a warrior true. It has been passed down through our order, and I keep it to remember my halcyon days. Although my fighting days are long behind me, I would be happy to impart some small measure of my knowledge to the stewards of the future. In time, I shall give this charm away, just as it was given to me. When I relinquish it, I shall tell its recipient of your bravery this day, and that your deeds might echo into the future. Please, take this as your reward. It's the least I can do. 
Huh. Wine dark suit. You shouldn't have. <laughs> really, you shouldn't have. <laughs> but she did. Uh, yes, yes, she did. Is it really wise to just run through a uh, hole in space like that? Mm, I'm a reaper. I can deal with it. You'd end up sending like one of your organs to to uh, uh, to the void. That would hurt. Yeah, so don't do it. I've been waiting for you. My father returned and told me all about you. What you did for him in our village. It seems I owe you thanks for two good deeds this day. Alaka Stand has long been a place where stewards and the shrines of tombs resided. That's to say, we've been focused mainly on meeting the needs of the departed, not the living. As such, I understand my father's desire to see food stores bolstered, but if he gets himself killed, we'll all be the worse off for it. Thankfully, we needn't worry about that, for today at least. Take this gesture of gratitude from both father and I. Okay. Radiant host captain. Radiant patrol. The radiant host captain seeks someone to help her in her duties. I know we've been... I know that. I know we've been bested by monsters, beasts, and worse. But if you have even a, an ounce of strength to give, I would ask for your aid. I am in need of brave souls to help patrol the area in search of any lost refugees. I would ask my brothers and sisters of the Radiant Hosts, but our numbers have been greatly diminished. It is all we can do to keep the darkness from swallowing the settlement whole. Very good. It shall be heartening to have another warrior by my side. Let us commence at once. Well, after this next que uh, quest acceptance. I'm afraid we're going to be two-timing you. Sure we want to do two at once? One of these is going to lead to a story chain, you know that. Yep. Okay. If we can figure out which one it is ahead of time, then we can turn in the other first. Excuse me, ma'am. In Nagama's footsteps, the wary radiant seeks someone willing to brave the wilderness. Ah, with luck. You look capable of braving the jungles unscathed. Would you help me search for a group of refugees I became separated from? As the chaos unfolded around us, I fled in the direction of Amaga Temple, along with a few others. There, one of these terrible beasts fell upon us, and I lost track of my group in the chaos. While I was able to make my way home, none of the, uh, none of the others have, and I worry for their safety. I would like nothing more than to search myself, but all hands are required to defend this place. Amaga Temple is to the west. Please journey there and guide anyone you can find back here. I only hope that some have managed to survive the madness. That would be good. Okay, first up. Go hiss somewhere else. <laughs> Hello, Captain. We should begin our patrol by heading south, a route which, a route through which may 
any refugees from Ildamad Pass. We will cover more ground if we separate into two groups. If you should find anyone in need, go to their aid, and if you discover any discarded effects, collect them for safekeeping. Ah, and if you should encounter one of those terrible bees, slay it where it stands. Once we've made a thorough search of the area, let's rendezvous back here. Godspeed. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, we got a little way to get to that quest. So. Yeah, these are both kind of scattered around. Yeah. This is why we are glad to have a writing map. Mm-hmm. And hers is probably even happier. And we got it early. Mm-hmm. Let's see what awaits. You survey the area, but detect nothing out of the ordinary. Of course, the definition of ordinary at the moment might be a little off. We do what we can. Yeah, it's just, you know, you detect nothing out of the ordinary. You know, that, that, that uh, uh, blasphemy over there, he's kind of ordinary right now. Hush you. Okay. He apparently is not ordinary. surely died without your help. What are you doing out here? Patrolling. Looking for you, actually. I see. So the Radiant Host looks, looks over us yet. For that I am grateful. Well, I suppose if I follow the path you took to get here, I should be safe on my way back. You didn't leave anything alive, did you? Mm, you. Maybe a couple uh, mud kippers? Um... Tiger! <sighs> you see a strange statuette lying on the ground, depicting a woman wearing a beastly mask. Maybe best to collect it. We're starting to see faces we haven't seen in months. Yeah. And wherever that Aether Kurt is, we're nowhere near it. <laughs> Really? Oh, 
353 yams to the north. Yeah, I figured this destination would be getting us relatively close to it. Uh, that's a bit further off than I might have guessed. There we go. Unfortunate sm straggler. Okay. First I thought it was smuggler and I'm going, do we really care? But no, no, straggler. That's, we saved that. Who, who are you? Are you here to save me? Of course I knew she wouldn't forget about us. The beasts prowled the area for some time, but I managed to find refuge among these rocks. However, I've been too frightened to set foot on from their shelter for fear of drawing attention of some hungry animal. With you here, I believe I can find the courage. Will you accompany me to Palaka's stand? Here. That's our job. Thank you. Now, let us tread carefully. Oh, yeah, God. great. It's an escort quest. Yeah, we got this. And Rift, you're not going anywhere. Okay. And he does not talk. I I can't click on him talking. Yeah. Doesn't it feel like we're being watched? He has speech bubbles. You know, there are far better ways to ambush things than appearing out in the middle uh, of the open. He doesn't want us here. You don't say. Don't worry, we got this. Mm -hmm. We can avoid all the bombs. Those are bombs, okay. And recognize them at first with that coloration. Yeah, they're they're forced bombs, effectively. Yeah, it's just I didn't realize they were, you know what model they were and that they were floating and all the rest of it. Uh, there they are. Yeah, I kind of saw them up here, but they took their own sweet time deciding to actually aggro us. Damn! Mm -hmm. What did you do? Uh, Aspaha like melted at half, at half health. <laughs> Bahamut was being a good boy. Saved my life. It was nothing. You just take care of yourself. Please tell that brave woman from Radiant Host that I've arrived safe and sound. I must think of a way to repay your bravery. Live. That's how yeah. you repay me. River and through the woods? Um. <laughs> Over the river and around the rocks. Yeah. Wounded citizen. Yet the radiant host is watching over us, and there is not to fear. Oh, 
Welcome back. I've heard all about your deed. Allow me to thank you for protecting those we could not. And my thanks to hers. If not for you, I'd be nothing but food for the beasts. You've more than earned your reward for your time. Speak with me again at Palaka Stand and I'll sure you get there. I can read. I totally can read. Good. Glad to hear it. Maybe. We're getting a lot more frequent thunder at the moment. I think it's just kind of random. The work ahead of us is vast, and any lives we can save are precious indeed. All I came across in my patrols was discarded belongings and scattered luggage. Did you find anything else of note? Uh, yeah, actually we did. Manusia's statuette. Small statue depicting a figure with the body of a woman and the head of a beast. Hmm, I recognize this figure. Doubtless you are curious as what it depicts. There's a legend that tells of the Manusia goddess who sought the strength of the Merga, wrestling her own head from her body and replacing it with that of a bestial palette of the Marga. In the pursuit Why of Why does this always make me, you know, this has been the legend all along, but I have to say, this really sounds like Head of Vecna time. <laughs> oh god, the Head of Vecna! <laughs> oh god, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a story for the ages. In the pursuit of wisdom, did Merga do the same, replacing his own head with that of a Manusa? Thus were born the divin divine beings gifted with both strength and wisdom, heralding an age of untold peace. One of the refugees must have dropped this in their flight. The figure is a reminder that most insurmountable hardships can be overcome by looking beyond the bounds of the tribe for help. A figurine so fine was likely beloved by its owner. I shall do what I can to see it return to them. Thank you for your help today, Traveler. Mm -hmm. Thank you for an Aether Kermit. Oh god, the head of Vecna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's, you know, the entire, you know, taking off your own head and replacing it with someone else's is just, um... Yeah, yeah. I know how that story ends. <laughs> Yeah, that was not a good ending. But no offense, they all got what they had coming. They sure did. <laughs> stupid is as stupid does. Oh, yes. I watched your rival and recognized that man from the group I was with. I'm overjoyed to see him safe. Thank you for escorting him there. Truly, you're worthy of the reputation you've earned. I dare say even Amagam would be a awed by your bravery. He was a story medicant of the Arcus Hodra. When the heroes landed ashore the island and war broke out, he spared no effort to save the lives of all those who were injured in the conflict. He saw no tribes, only those in need. He was no, not so different from you, who threw himself into the maw of danger to save someone they've never met. If Emga spirit lives on today, it is through your selfless deeds. Your selfless deeds. I suppose Agama could have been... Zema. Or at least a warrior of light. Uh, yeah. Take this as a reward, although I have no doubt you would deny it if I let you. Once my watch is ended, I shall patrol the woods in search of any more hiding amongst the trees. And wait for it. Ding. Oh, congrats. Okay, we have one more thing to do. Hmm. One Aether Curt coming up. 432 Northwest. Not sure how we missed it, but we did. Yeah. We're usually good about catching them all. Do, 
Okay. West. There it is. Oh. Oh God, keep we were cleverly right hiding here. them in plain. Yeah, keep cl and cleverly hiding them in plain sight on top of rocks. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Ooh, do, 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 delivery. Thank you. Okay. You two get a room. Yeah, um... No, I'm not getting under the right now. Eh? Uh? Yeah. Uh, maybe better than work. Okay. Fine enough. But this calls for a celebration. I can fly! <laughs> uh, do we want to do a quick Mac Peam clear out? Yeah, yeah. Which we need to do on the moon. There's still one spot we haven't gotten. Mm. That's definitely yes. a flyover relocation. Okay. So, a lake behind the dam. Not a dam, a bridge. Okay, really? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I bet you I know what this area is. Other than hidden? I bet you it's the new Stone Sea Sky. Mm. If we could get to it. Which we can't. Well, you got the map ping. The burning field. Ooh, that nope. sounds pleasant. Hold on, over here. Yeah, you can get in through here. Yep. Oh yeah, that is Stone Sea Sky. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I'm not sure if others uh, know, uh, for Octi's sake, um, Stone Sea Sky is effectively a testing ground where you can work your rotation and test it on a target dummy that is the equivalent of a DPS check for a high-end raid boss. The thinking is, is that if you can clear the dummy within the allotted time, you have the DPS to actually succeed at the encounter. Whether you can actually dodge all the required lava and AoEs, that's another matter. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> okay. But since having something akin to a uh, deadly boss mods purse timer or what is used here as act shouldn't actually be used because it's against the TOS. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's basically infernal benchmarking. Okay. Are you physically capable of doing what's going to be needed? Mm-hmm. Under his wing. By the way, do you need to shift up for wing. this? Yeah. Not until I turn in. Mm. But I'll switch up after we take this. Matia is eyeing you as if there's something he wants to say. As you have finished your deliveries, might I talk with you for a moment? I was curious to know... What has become of Mevan and Korsaroff's remains? Oh, thank you, friend. Surely they will be able to rest peacefully by each other's side. I and the people of Palaka Stand will perform the rites as soon as we are able. 
As for the child, it will not be easy for her growing up without her parents, but I promise to do what I can. Once she is able to eat solid food, the fish I catch will help nourish her. Well, we finished delivering the chai. I do believe everyone has a piping hot cup. I could almost believe there is a magic at work, how their tension fades with every sip. Let us pray that Palaka's stand has seen the last of those transformations, at least for now. They are still at risk, as every village in, as every village in Thavenir like is not. Still, I trust we can leave this place in the care of our friends from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return to Razat Han? By all means. Do not let us keep you further. There still may, they are still many who have need of your wisdom and strength to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do what I can as well. I will bring ration, rations and supplies from Akiali. We have plenty to spare. Then let's find the Stinny and be on our way. Why did you wander off again? The Wakeful Tirana? Near the bridge to Razat Han, as I recall. Very well, then. Oh no! Oh no? Oh no! <laughs> wow! Aren't you glad we did the last <laughs> round before taking that quest? <laughs> Holy moly! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, um, I'm not shifting out of scholar. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you were not. Holy moly. <laughs> um, um, is the Square Enix development team overachieving again? Remember halfway through the development they realized they had too much on their plate and then discovered that it would take more time to rip it all out to pare it down than it would be just to proceed forward. That is so them. There is 30% more content here than any of the other expansions. Which still means there's only about half as much as between uh, 2 and 3 -0. Yeah, well. <laughs> they really set themselves some, some insanely high goals at first. Hold on a moment. Come back over here. Mm -hmm. You and your friends entrusted me with the child. I was beside myself with fear. In bringing her back safe, however, I realized I was capable of so much more than I ever believed. Nothing could be more terrifying than that moment I faced the beasts in the jungle. But I survived. I survived. And come what may, I will survive again. Without you, I would I never would have found the strength. I thank you, and promise to make the most of this lesson. You do yeah, that. That was definitely worth coming back for. Were it not, my colleagues and I will watch over this village when you have gone. And should my research bear any new fruit, you shall be the first to know. Yeah, well, uh, we won't be leaving this village for a bit yet. Yeah. Good lord, people. <laughs> uh, Pizkasa, uh, Pizaka's purpose. Kirid is short on materials and time. Oh, you're the two who slew the terrible beast, aren't you? Big, brawny, just the type of people I was looking for. I have a job that I believe will suit you two perfectly. It's a reward at the end of it, if that motivates you two to keep listening. I make my living as a weaver, and I've had an idea to craft armor for the Radiant Hosts to defend our walls. However, the scales that I require are in short supply. Scales of the long-lived Picasa are nigh indestructible. But such animals lead great 
but such animals lead quick and brutal lives. Finding an aged specimen is difficult, slaying one even more so. Still, there are animals all the same, and cannot resist the allure of fresh meat. If you were to use this corpse of a gusaria, then the scent of its blood will surely draw out a prized specimen. It's a somewhat dangerous task, I know, but I suspect you've seen much worse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've seen much, much worse. We have qualified for your I stepped in what? Yes. Quick heals. Utpala would help the healers do their duty. Might you have a few moments to spare? Our healers are overwhelmed with the number of injured and sick, and every single pair of hands will go a long ways towards easing their burden. Some of their duties require them to venture into the jungle, a dangerous prospect at the best of times, but a death sentence under current conditions. Perhaps you can lend them their aid. If you would offer your capable arm to their aid, please do so. They will all be glad to accept it, I'm sure. Dreams of Venom. The seasoned hunter seeks a seasoned partner. Stories paint you as ferocity incarnate. By the sight of you, I don't reckon they're too far from the truth. You mind le lending me an ons of that ferocity to catch some prey? Healers from the village have tasked me with hunting down a beast possessing a right deadly venom. At a loss as to how, how to go about it, but with two strapping hunters, I'm sure we'll find a way. So, are you with me? I think we can manage something. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Well then, our mark is to the north. I trust you'll keep up with me. And you two, do you really want to be standing that close to the fire pit? Eesh. I know, and they're yourselves. all in their winter gear, too. I don't think it's that cold here, is it? I kind of have to wonder at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Sure you should be going around with bare arms like that? Curry for the watch. Jobacall has a pair of metal containers in his hands and they appear to be piping hot. You're the traveler who rescued the child of Mevin and Kezrof, yes? You have a moment to spare for the brave souls that watch over our village. The radiant host short-handed, and the courageous among us have volunteered to uh, climb those treacherous cliffs and keep lookout for any approaching beasts. I would make their long days easier with a home-cooked meal, but I cannot reach the summit on my own. Every mount that might carry me uh, there is other uh, carry me there is otherwise indisposed, but I don't believe that will prove a problem for one so resourceful as you. Oh, this is because we've just unlocked all our aether currents, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. If you would be so kind, please deliver these meals to the lookouts at the summit. I'll pay you for your troubles, if that will keep, help speed things along. And is that inside? Inside. T Fortel. Misaja wishes to read the fate of a brave adventurer. You have the look in your eyes I am well familiar with. You wish to see the threads of fate which guide you, yes? What if I told you that you could be illuminated through the fine art of reading Tai Chi? Of reading Chi Tai. Ah, uh, Chai Chi. Yes. yes, the last remnant of a cup of tea can show you your fate. The leaves and spices in the cups spelling it out a message for those who can read it. This art has been perfected over generations in Thafnir, and I'm willing to share it with you. Are you willing to take my gift? 
Splendid! Before we begin, however, I must gather the spices we will use with your own hands. It's the only way to attune the tea to your destiny. I have marked on your map the location where you can harvest three different spices. You will choose two of these. Do not make this choice lightly. It may very well decide the course of your future. E so no pressure! This, can we can we just, like, you know, use a ma magic eight ball or something? Look, I've got one right here. It says... Have some tea. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll leave those last three so we can... Yeah. Keep... No? 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 Must be inside. Yes, there. Ma'am, we're here to help. What? You're here to help? Uh, of course. I'm glad for the assistance afforded to me. I just have a task for one such as yourself, in fact. In troubled times as these, it is ever the med it's ever the medicine which first runs dry. I've spent an assistant I've sent an assistant to procure the supplies from the great work, but apparently she's running a bit of trouble on her way back. It seems something is preventing her from completing the delivery, although she was scared although she was scarce on the details. Unfortunately, circumstances being what they are, we haven't been able to spare a single person to send to her aid. Until now, that is. Travel to the wakeful Tirana, where my sister awaits, and see if you can't solve this little conundrum before she's encountered. Sorry, my reading is not up to par tonight. Wow. I'm trying. I'm very trying. Uh, uh, admittedly, you're not going to replace Livar Burton. No. <laughs> you came. Good. I thought there was a slim possibility you'd lose heart and slink off, but I'm glad to be proven wrong. I've set up three traps around the perimeter. Pieces of fresh meat mixed with medicine that'll dull the senses of any beast greedy enough to eat them. If they worked like I think they should, all you should have to do is scoop the uh, pajam nga up in the sack. Now, animals aren't known for sharing, so there's a chance one might try to take our prize. When it does, slay it and bring it to me. I'm sure I'll think of a way to use it. I think I can leave the rest in your hands. I'm off to hunt a different prey. One with too many legs and an altogether unpleasant disposition. When we're both done with our task, let's meet back here. Best of luck. I think we need to head this way. There we go. Pair of sleepy snakes. Uh, large sack, right? This sack is large enough to hold several snake-like creatures in it. <laughs> Why are we fortunate that these guys are snake-like, if not downright snaky? You're yeah, sneaky. Oh, he thought he could get away with it. Mm-hmm. He would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for meddling chocobos. Okay, 
Hey, one quest down. Many, many to go. Are you here to help? Oh, thank the gods. Apologies for the imposition, but I just can't carry these supplies any further. I'm afraid my condition doesn't allow me for strenuous labor. You have the look of a stout pair of legs under you. Could you deliver the medicine in my stead? I must rest. Yes, just a bit of a lie down. Don't get eaten by anything. Yeah, this is not exactly a place you can rest. It's all in the crate here. Please hurry. The people of Palaka stand are dire need. Would that I had more strength to give. Yep. Yep. Four minutes. Fortunately, the stand is not far. We'll get back to you, Yizan. Promise. Mm -hmm. Hot soup coming through. Here's the supplies you wanted. Thank you for picking up the slack, so to speak. I must remember that not all my systems are fit for such demanding work. I will administer this medicine to those who in need as soon as I can. It was Utpala who earned, who entreated you for help, yes? Pray inform her that all's well and give me her, and give her my gratitude. Wow, I just kept fumbling on her. By the way, I don't feel too embarrassed because it took me until now to think of it too. Eh? Yeah, don't forget, Urza can fly. What? <laughs> well, we got your snakeies. You've got a healthy look about you. I think that means you avoided any run-ins with the venom, eh? Let me see what you got. Three captured Bujamgas. The Bujamga within the sack is sleeping soundly, but it may be best to tread carefully while you hold it. Slain uh, Bujamga. Although this bu uh, Bujamga is dead, it may be advisable to stay away from its fangs. By the twelve, you managed to kill one. It takes three of us days of planning to achieve such a feat. You did it with nary a bead of sweat on your brow. The stories were true indeed. I'll take this to the healers straight away. Find me again in the village and you'll have your well-deserved reward. If you say so. Pretty fly. Mm -hmm. Excuse you. Okay, we have three herbs here. The Singa Bear Root, the Thavnarian Bay Leaf, and, and the Talisman Thav Needle Leaf. Hmm. 
I'm going for the tal talisman in the bay. You can choose something else if you wish. Fortune Teller wrote that the talisman needle leaf dispels negative thoughts, bringing a sense of calm to those who consume them. Sounds good. The Fortune Teller wrote that the Thernarian Bay Leaf improves the working of the stomach, preventing discomfort and embarrassing irregularities in the gut. Let me try the root. Fortune Teller wrote that the root of this Zinga Berry raises body temperature to expel toxins and other harmful substances from the body. Yeah, I'll try that. And, um, while we're here... Oh, right. Doing some serious damage there. Uh, I'm a DPS. Is this a problem? And we have some piping hot soup to deliver. Hello, Mr. Lookout. That smell set my stomach grumbling something fierce. Pray tell me you've read enough to share. Actually, this one's all for you. Curry. A metal container containing a hearty serving of curry. Still warm to the touch. It's all for me? Why, thank you. It's beginning to dread the rest of my watch. There's nothing like a spice curry to keep, the, and keep hunger away. Never seen a container quite like this before. Not a drop of curry was spilled in your flight, and it's still piping hot. Thank you, friend. Has someone invented the thermos? I think so. Whee! And there's lookout number two. Excuse me, ma'am. Hot curry delivery? The sound of my stomach would drown out the alarm. Say, you didn't bring anything to eat, did you? Yes, as a matter of fact. Specifically for you. We did. Ah, I knew I'd recognize that heavenly scent. Spices to fortify the spirit and tea to sharpen the senses. This will tide me over until my, my replacement arrives. is happy she can fly. Mm-hmm. And just out of curiosity. So I think we got the point the vista here before. Had to check. Oh yeah, and don't forget the uh vista that was on top of that rock. Yeah, where was that rock? Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a lot of rocks here that look just like it. Yeah, I noticed. I was noticing earlier tonight. Wait then. And that fit in our pocket? I don't ask questions about our pocket. I just attribute it to the echo, like everything else. <laughs> echo equals infinite sized pockets.
Old Pisaka. Oh, he's kind of a nightmare creature in and of himself. Yeah, I know. I first saw him going, oh, we're getting a, uh, 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 blasphemy, and no, no, wait. That's supposed to be a regular creature. Emphasis on supposed to be. Well, let's be honest, there's a lot of creatures running around who were kind of left over from the original Something. final days. And just kind of became part of the world, you know? Uh, that's a disturbing thought. I can see you've delivered the meals. If you had eaten them, I would be able to smell your guilt. Not a chance. That was curry. I am grateful, as I'm sure the lookouts are as well. Long ago, we would post soldiers upon those cliffs, that we might see invaders approaching by sea. I think something much worse would eventually cross the ocean. Regardless, we are blessed that nature has provided us a way to watch for danger. I hope to, to keep our lookouts fed for as long as I can. Well, we have the tea leaves. You have returned with the spices, I see. Hold your fortune. You hold your fortune in your hands. Now give them to me, and I shall brew a tea as you are not soon to forget. And this might be different between the two of us. Mm-hmm. And here you are. This tea will decide your destiny, but that doesn't mean it cannot be delicious as well. I hope I don't have to convince you to drink it until the final drop. <laughs> okay. I think I like that tea. Delicious, yes? Now pass me the cup and I will read your fate. Hmm, most curious. Fascinating. Oh, you will have an unexpected reunion with someone from your past. Will it be a lover, a friend, or family, or an erstwhile comrade at arms? The tea does not say, but it shall surely become a pivot on which your destiny turns. Okay, mine is different. All the prelims, of course, were the same. Shall I, or sh will you switch over? Uh, let me switch over. Give me one second here. Oh ho! There's a great wealth in store for you, but only if you make the right choices. Lay down your weapons and pick up a map and tools. The trade will be well worth it. This isn't Reed. fortune telling. This is an advertisement to uh, to the new treasure dungeon. <laughs> Switching back and going to the next paragraph. Yes. Well, how does it feel? A glimpse of foresight is often an enlightening experience, and I hope that my humble skills can dispel doubt in the days ahead. Thank you for giving me the chance to hone my craft. Carniark. Topped with a single slice of tomato, this baked stuffed eggplant is positively bursting with hamza meat and rich spices. Could be good. Yeah. I was gonna ask what your thoughts since you're more of the uh, eggplant uh, knowledgeable one than me. Well, eggplant is a good sop for other flavors. Yes. However, it's also a good sop for things you don't want. Yes. It sops up everything. It's good to see you've returned, friend. 
The healers were impressed with our work, but I made sure they knew it was you who single-handedly slew that uh, uh, Jamga. The healers use their venom to make a salve that numbs the skin. Useful for when they need to cut the rot out or administer some other ghastly treatment. Any road, good work today. May the hunt be prosperous. Rift, get your fluffy butt back here. Work, work. Inside. Uptaala? You've been out for quite a while. I trust the healer has kept you busy? Oh, she knows who I am? Well... All I did was pass along information. But if she sends her thanks, then who am I to deny them? Healers have barely a wink of sleep as of late. I'm no fighter, nor do I have a mind for healing. But I'm happy to help where I can. Here, take this for your kind service. How goes the hunt? Do you have the scales? Glimmering Pisaka Scales. Scales from a long-lived Pisaka, much sought after for their unusual hardness. Why, those are even more splendid than I could imagine. The Pisaka are dangerous prey, to be sure, but the reward for from conquering them is well worth it. Our legends, they are portrayed as devils that feast upon the flesh of man. The goddess Minadurva brought one low by piercing its eye, and now and nowhere else would the weapon yield to ah, and nowhere else would yield to her weapon. The legends have an ounce of truth to them. For many years the Pekaka scales became imbued with metallic substances. By weaving them into thread, one can make materials of uncommon strength. Surely our defenders would appreciate such garments made of such materials, yes? I cannot fight myself, but if such skills as I possess can help us through this struggle, then I mean to do what I can. And for your part in aiding me in this, take this. You deserve it. Final three. For now. There will be more later. Mr. Dancer? Treasure Hunters. The Ari Dancer is squinting his eyes at a parchment in his hands. Say, how are you at solving riddles? Been staring at this parchment for bells and all I've achieved is a terrible headache. If you could spare a moment, might you take a look? It can't be worse than a Lakeland map. <laughs> oh god, those things are horrible. <laughs> now those you squint at for bells and have no idea. These words were written by a kindly old Arkasodra who helped me flee from the beast. Fortunately, he was stuck in, uh, struck in our escape and the healers were unable to save him. Aww. For the compassion he showed me, I would like nothing more than to unravel the meaning of his message. Alas, I fear it's quite beyond me. As the waning sun casts light upon the stone trunk, at its end you shall find a treasure most profound. Rest the key from crossed hands and open the way to riches. Now... I know most of these words, but in this order they seem to lose all meaning. I'm having particular trouble with the phrase stone trunk. What could it be referring to? A statue. A statue yeah, with a prolonged statue with a prodi prodigious, and prodigious nose. nose. Though it's not prodigious so much as an Akasudra nose. Ah, indeed. You put it that way, the link becomes quite clear. 
and the sun would look uh, look quite striking. The sun would look quite striking near the front of Vondamaya, where indeed such a statue towers over its surroundings. Yep, first place I thought of. That must be it. It's worth a look at any rate. I think I'll go there now, in fact. You coming along? Surely you'd like to know if we've cracked this riddle. Good, good. It's always better to have a companion at your side. Well then, let's make haste to the Font of Maya. First one there gets its pick of the treasure. Yeah, this is a lot easier than um, the greatest story never told. Yeah, we've still never finished that one. No. We keep getting sidetracked. That yeah. too. My friend, the Yeti. In this climate? Stranger things have happened. Uh-huh. The young Arcasodra uh, is staring off into the jungle with worry in his eyes. Oh, excuse me, but you're a traveler, yes? Would you be willing to take on a personal request? I'm worried for the safety of a friend of mine and would ask you to check on them. Thank you. I know you have no shortage of demands on your time. My friend, you see, he's a bit of a private person. I only wish to know how he is faring after the recent troubles. However, the journey to his abode is much too dangerous for me to attempt alone. I wouldn't dare ask another villager to go in my stead. A traveler with a sharp blade, however, would surely get the task done with little effort. Would a pair of books do? <laughs> He resides in the a jungle to the northwest, or at least he used to. I'll mark the location on your map. His name is Shushena, and if you say his name, he should respond. My worst fears have come to pass and he is wounded. Please use this medicine to treat his wounds. You will be rewarded for your efforts. And I suspect you would have helped me even if I had nothing to give in return. Yeah, pretty much. It's what we do. I said we'd be back, Yenza. He's in. What's an apparent? Izan is mumbling to himself indistinctly. Uh, oh, excuse me. Did you need something? Wait, you're them. The, the very ones who saved Mevin's child. Really, and Theron, was it? That's us. I knew it. I'm Hizan, an alchemist of the great work, but one of a few who are looking after the child as she makes her recovery. Mevin and Kisteroff were dear friends of mine. Thank you for everything you've done to send for their daughter. They seem to have been rich in friends. That's not a bad thing. Nope. Her condition is on the mend, I'm sure you'll be glad to hear. Very. We've been taking turns checking in on her. The last thing she needs is a gaggle of adults fussing over her day and night. That being said, when she's healed fully, there's a question of who will be in charge of her care. For the love I bore her parents, I would gladly take her in as my own. That would mean raising her away from her home. Moreover, I'm yet to be wed and my duties consume so much of my time I can scarce focus on my own care, let alone that of a growing child. I doubt my ability to give her the love she deserves. Love equal to that her parents gave her. She deserves better than that, so I have considered finding someone more suitable. It's the least I can do, and truth be told, perhaps the best option. Even so, although I was born here, much of my life was spent at the great work. I'm afraid I have the foggiest idea who to ask, even if I had the time to do so. You, however, seem to be well-loved among the people here. Could you ask around in my stead? It would be much more effective use of my time to prepare medicine for the wounded and sick. I apologize for imposing such an enormous task upon you, but I would trust no one else with it. When you've finished, 
Come to my hut to the south of this settlement and we can discuss any potential parental candidates. I would actually vote for Matsya, though he's not of this village. Yeah, there's also the problem of single and busy. But yeah, he was also my first thought. If you After ask what he me... went through, I would assume he'd take especially good care. Yeah. If you ask me, Harrison is the most motherly among us. She had her child of her own not long ago, so I reckon there'd be no one better than to be a wet nurse. That being said, times have been troubled for us all. It might be unseemly to ask her to take in such a burden unless she's willing. I'm just checking everything. <laughs> Who do I think is the most suited to care for the child? Yizan is obvious choice. They're dependable, loyal, dutiful. Every quality you would desire for a parent. I know he does not become so absorbed in his research, but the devotion he has made him peerless alchemist. Who better than... Who better is there to look after someone so sickly as her? Child, eh? None dote over her quite ain't like he's on, but I understand alchemy isn't a merciful trade for a parent. Still, there's no one else that comes to mind when I consider the question. I'd volunteer to take her in myself, but with the chaos of recent events, it's difficult enough to see that, uh, that me and mine are fed and clothed. I know I'm not the only one facing such hardships, either. Welcome to my humble workshop. Almost too nervous to, uh, nervous to ask, but what did the others say? Most of them volunteered you. <laughs> eh? Someone nominated me? Well, that's neither here nor there. You said uh, Basarian's name was mentioned. She was a good friend to Mevon, it's true. But there are other factors at play that make me reticent to ask her. Simply put, I'd rather not burden her further if it can be avoided. That being said, we don't exactly have the luxury of choice, all things considered. I suppose I would be remiss if I didn't at least speak with her. I owe the child that much. Will you accompany me? The supportive presence by my side would help me find the right words. Passerine should be nearby, doubtless watching over her own child. I must deliver this medicine before speaking with her, so please go on ahead. We're getting the runaround here. Yeah, that's what they do. Indeed, she does seem to have a kid already. Yazan, it's so good to see you. And who's with you? Passerine, meet Riley and Theron. They're the heroes who saved Mevin and Kesraf's daughter. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Thank you for your bravery. 
I've heard the tale of the troubles she's been through since. I hope you're able to see her return to good health soon. It has been trying, to be sure. But we must look forward to the day she's hailed. Everyone is doing their utmost to make it so. The question remains as to where she will go from there, however. I've considered taking her into my home, but I fear my qualifications as a parent are somewhat lacking. I know you to have been a dear friend to Mevan, and as such, only thought it meet to ask if you're willing to care for her daughter. If you are, I can do everything in my power to see she is given into your care. I'm... I'm flattered. Mevan was like family to me, and I view her child as my own. I wouldn't do anything to see her raised into the brave woman as her mother. However, I cannot care for her. I'm not worthy of caring for her. Worthy? What's that? Uh, my apologies. I understand it was a sudden request, and no small one besides. Please forgive the imposition. I'll be in the village for some time yet. Should you require treatment for you and yours, please seek me out. I will. Thank you, Yizan. I will speak with you further. Let's return to my dwelling. Are we about to have a busybody? I think so. I'm sorry. No need to be sorry. I wasn't too forceful, was I? I simply asked her if she was willing. Didn't mean to make her feel obligated to agree. I found her words most uh, somewhat mystifying. Not worthy? What could that mean? Usually not one to pry, but this worries me. I consider Pastorine a friend, and I'm loath to leave her to her troubles. Dang it. I just missed that one. Do you need me to read it? Uh, hopefully you're... Ah, there we go. And there's still the matter of the child. Hmm. I shall have to think on what to do from here. I may need your help again soon. I hope you're willing. And of course he has a follow-on. Yes. Yes, he does. Curing what ails. Izan requires a capable green thumb to assist him. And note the background in that image. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Busy buddy time. Well then, if you're willing, I have a task that requires immediate attention. It's simple, but essential. Namely, the gathering of herbs. The child is in a vulnerable state. I would fortify her against further sickness. There are also more wounded in this village than I had anticipated, and my stores have begun running low. It would be best to replenish them while time affords us an opportunity. Can I count on you to help me? Of course. Splendid. I require several of the reddish soma herbs that which grow among the shrubbery to the northeast. With both of us working in tandem, I wager we should have enough gathered before the next bell. Zoinks and away. Zoinks and away. Yes. Uh, and add that stupid had no right to be that funny. Yes. I agree. <laughs> well, Mr. Dancer? 
What do you think? There you are. Just so you know, I was joking about that first pick at the treasure thing. We shall be equal partners, yes? Now, looking at the parchment, there are two locations we should investigate. The treasure this trunk is supposed to lead us toward, and the hand which holds the key. For expediency's sake, I say we split up. If this key is located where I think it is, it may be difficult to find without some method of traversing the air. You do appear to be quite strapping, however. Either way, you can choose which one you'd like to investigate. I'll go for the key. Yeah. From crossed hands, whatever those are. Oh, I think I know exactly where they are. Yes. Excellent choice. Well then, I'll leave the parchment with you. I've read it so many times, I've quite memorized it. If you become lost in the maze of your own thoughts, simply consult it and it should set you on the right path. Let's commence the hunt, shall we? Mysterious key. Good job, Urza. You're a good burb. Way. One key, fit for, for purpose. Perfect timing. I've just completed my task. I assume you've done the same. You truly have the spirit of a treasure hunter. I know we're both burning with curiosity, but let's wait to open this box until we return to Palaka's stand. Mysteries can so rarely be savored. But before that, we have another quest. Mm-hmm. And our destination, behold. Now let's see if I can type this without butchering it. Tell me when you got it. Got it. You hear faint sounds of an animal in pain emanating from the direction of the bluffs. Investigated oh. source. That's not good. No. Oh. It's a troll. Right. Hey. Yeti appears to be wounded. That's... Yeah. Okay. Perhaps the medicine provided to you will alleviate its suffering. Healing Salve. A potent healing salve made by the alchemists of the great work. Though you cannot understand the Yeti's words, you can sense the gratitude behind them. Return to the young Arkasodra and inform him that his friend is well. well or at least on the way, on the mound. Well enough, I suppose. He 
presumably is not about to die, so yeah. And given any reason history in here, not dying is doing pretty good. Well, we've checked up on your friend. Welcome back, Traveler. So, how was he? Oh, that's horrible. Still, I suppose I can be grateful that you can treat his wounds. I owe Shushena my life. When I was attacked by one of those terrible Pisaka, Shushena's roar drove the monster off. That was the start of our friendship, one I've treasured ever since. But my family has forbidden me from venturing into the woods, so I haven't been able to check up on him. I know they're only worried for my safety, but still. You shouldn't abandon your friend. You should explain everything to them. I okay. Mean, there's reasons why they told him not to go out. Fine. Since he's a youth, well, still under parental authority. You're right, of course. Surely if I explain Shushena's bravery and self uh, selflessness, they'd understand. There's nothing to lose by trying anyways. Yes, you can always sneak out of the village on your own uh, uh, later if they, uh, they say no. Agreed. And I don't recommend that course if possible. Not at the moment. Thank you. Not only did you say Shushena, but you've reminded me what true friendship is worth. It's not much, but please, take this. Mmm, curry. curry. Not featured in the most recent episode of Restaurant to Another World. <laughs> Dish that combines lentils with sumptuous blend of spices in a silky coconut milk stew. And yeah, anyone who knows better, yeah, that's not the most recent episode. It's just the most recent episode we've seen. Yeah, we're, we're a always a little behind on things. We're a lot behind. Shrubbery! Bring me a shrubbery! Or not. That work for you? Uh, yeah, one of three. Drop. These appear to be the herbs you seek, but only their stems remain. Another enterprising alchemist must have already been here. Whoopsies! Yes, I'm still trying to check all the rock tops. <laughs> we'll find it eventually. Yes, but only if we remember to look. Which means we'll find it like six months from now. Sadly, yes. I saw the creatures emerge from the brush, but you felled them before I had a chance to be frightened. Glad you survived unscathed. That had been me. Any road, did you manage to find the Soma? Soma, a pale red herb which is said to have powerful medicinal properties. Excellent work, excellent work. My search came up fruitless. It appears we're not the only one seeking this particular herb. Shouldn't come as a surprise, I suppose. This area is well known for the medicinal plants which grow here. My supplies run low once more. Perhaps I should ask the villagers if they have any to spare. For now, I believe we found all we can. 
Let's return to Plaka's stand. Unfortunately, the stand is not far. No. Especially by Chocobo Flight. At least it's not Hansa Flight. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is not going on my favorites list. As I suspected, we weren't the only ones searching for the jungle. I returned to my quarters to find a bag positively stuffed to the brim with herbs, including Soma, in fact. I asked a nearby colleague who delivered this bounty. They told me it was one of the near Arcosodra stewards. I believe I know who it is. Her name is Sula. Shy one, but obviously kind of heart. I spied her eavesdropping during our conversation with per uh, Pazarine. Poorly, I might add. I apologize for asking more of you at the end of a trying day, but would you speak with her for me? Offer our thanks for the herbs, and perhaps find out if she knows anything of Passerine's troubles. For my part, I'll begin synthesizing the medicine at once. Zula should be somewhere nearby. I pray you have a productive conversation. Ah, there she is. Mm -hmm. Hello, Zula. Will you talk with us? Oh, you are, uh, I mean, who are you? Do you require something from me? The herbs? I came upon them while hunting. Nothing more. I have heard the medicine is made from them is effective in treating the ailments of young children. It seems only meant that, it seemed only meet that I should do my part, as it were. What do you know of uh, Pazarine's troubles? Oh, let's not uh, start dropping hints of dropping eaves. I uh oh that well uh very well. I believe I can shed some light on the root of Pazarine's distress. That is what you wish to hear, yes? Inza asked me, asked you to speak with me. Just as he asked you to gather the herbs. Well, then perhaps it's for best that we all speak together. Go to him and allow me some time to gather my thoughts. I shall approach you when I am ready. Don't leave us in the lurch, Sula. You're just in time. I've only just finished synthesizing the medicine. Oh, did Sula tell you anything of interest? Not yet, but she's about to. Well, well, I suppose I can hear it straight from her. I appreciate that you felt it fit to include me. Firstly, I owe you an apology. I was sneaking about out of concern for Parisin. I know that what it is that weighs on her mind, you see. That is what you want to know, yes? The story is troubling to hear, and even more troubling to relate. Before I tell you, you must promise me that you will be her strength in the days to come. Of course. Anything to help a friend. Nazar, her beloved husband, was killed. When the Veil of Chaos descended upon our world, he fled into the jungle and transformed into one of those terrible beasts. He returned here a monster, where my sister Chapa met his wrath. Neither of them survived the ensuing struggle. I was there as well, despite his monstrous form. I knew it was Dazar. I froze in terror, while Chapa stood undaunted. She fought alone for my cowardice, and it was my fault she died. I knew this, and yet... I laid the blame on Parashin's shoulders. I lashed out at her, cursing her for her husband's cowardice. 
When we both should have confer comforted the other in mourning, I turned my back on her. I left her to bear the burden of no one, but two deaths. It is only natural that she would be hesitant to look after another, given that. I was a fool to condemn Parashen when it was my duty to protect my people here. I have wanted nothing more than to apologize since that day, but I fear my words were too cruel to forgive. I cannot stand to meet her gaze. It was a difficult time for everyone. We often lose ourselves in moments of crisis. But so long as we find our way back, we are worthy of forgiveness. Chapa would agree, I'm sure. She wouldn't blame you for what happened, nor would she want you to blame yourself. Pasarine's uh, Pasarine doubtless feels the same. You are right. I must apologize to her. That is the only course. Thayrin, by Leo, was it? I will speak with Parashin. But I require some time to muster my courage. Soon, I promise. You know what this means. Follow up quest? Follow up quest. Yep. When we spoke before, Pazarine said she was unworthy to care for the child. I see now why she would think that. The pain she suffered is not one that heals easily. The sins we bear. Sula looks eager to leave Palaka's stand, but to where is not clear. Thank you for lending an ear to my troubles, Thayrin, Ivia. If you two are willing, there is a place I would travel to and wish for you to accompany me. Administering my duties may come, help calm my nerves. To that end, I mean to inspect the temples for signs of disrepair. After we are finished, I hope I can find the courage once again to look Parashirin in the eyes. With all the monsters about, most of my attention as of late has been focused on finding and protecting those who have fled. With the arrival of the Radiant Host, however, there is finally time to attend to this long-neglected duty. I, too, must ask that you go with Sula. Knowing that their holy places are being cared for may set these people's hearts at ease. Even an ounce of comfort is precious in these trying times. Much appreciated. Would that I could join you, but I'm afraid an alchemist's tools are of little use against fangs and claws. It doesn't mean I'll stand idly by, however. I'll remain here and continue making medicine for the children. My hands may be clumsy with sword and shield, but there are a few more adroit with mortar and pestle. We are blessed indeed to have such a... We are blessed indeed to have a pair such as you looking after us. Well then, let us begin our patrol. Our first destination shall be Perusa, to the southeast. It is a bit of a trek, so make proper arrangements before departing. You know, we can always just throw the book at them. <laughs> Actually, let's go check with our uh, dancer friend first. Mm -hmm. He's been waiting a bit. Finally, you've arrived. Now the key goes into the lock. Curious. This jewel appears quite ancient. Judging from the symbols etched into it, it once belonged to an Arcosodra practitioner of magic. Not surprising, I suppose. The place we found it was once used by their mages for various rituals and such. They moved deeper into the jungle during recent years, but my savior likely knew of the temple's history. This may have been his way of thanking me for rescuing him, 
although my efforts were for naught. Feel ill deserving of such a prize. I shall use this to help the refugees, to rebuild their shattered homes. As for you, well, I did promise you a share, yes? Not exactly half, but I hope it pleases. It'll do. So, he found an Archisotra soul gem? Not from what he said, but yeah, that was my thought too. It has been some time since I have set foot on these hollowed grounds. In times gone by, there were even more such places in this region, but many were moved to Vanaspati. From one of the divinities worshipped here, there were words passed down that we might send off our departed with its wisdom. Just as life leads to death, so does death lead to life. Do not shed tears for the departed, for they have but set foot upon a new journey. Be not forlorn that your path have diverged, but look forward with joy to the day that they might cross again. As long as I can remember, I followed my sister's footsteps. In her absence, I have felt loss. Whenever I forge a path of my own making, my legs become heavy and my heart becomes anxious. Hmm. Your sister would want you to move forward with courage. Yeah. Thank you. Hizan is a generous soul, and to have your wisdom to buoy me is more than I deserve. Would I could open my heart to Pasharin in such a way. This part of the temple appears to be well kept. Let us check the other side, shall we? Well kept, yet there is a pile of rubble right in front of us. <laughs> okay then. A lot of it could use a real sweeping out. Hold on. Rift! Or, wh why do you keep abandoning us? You're supposed Work. to be better than that. This area is in ghastly shape. Scratches here, cracks there. Will you help me investigate further? We will cover more ground by searching separately. Let's all search this area. I trust you to do your due diligence. Uh, fine! You want to die to Bahmood? I will oblige. <laughs> Are we done, Bahamut? It'll be trade. Yep, you're done.
damage stone. Stones here are crumbling and fragments of them litter the ground. It would be best to replace them. Okay, cold. I won't be that far behind. It's probably down below. I need that. The stones Thank of you. the foundation <laughs> The stones of the foundation appear to be unstable. However, filling in the areas where the grout has fallen away should remedy that. And there's number three. Stones here are cracked and require repair. Have you finished? Was it as bad as it looks? Close. I see. This may have been the site of a battle or some other horrible conflict. I must do what I can to see it repaired. Though this temple may be remote, the devout, the devout do come here on occasion to pay their prayers. Thank you for helping me today. This has helped me forget the crisis that plagues us and reminded me of simpler times. When we would look after the roads and protect the pilgrims on their journeys, I ever looked forward to seeing, to setting out on patrols with my sister by my side, but I must, but I must find a way to manage without her, to set foot upon my own path. My first step must be to apologize to Parashim, even if she may refuse it. No more distractions. That being said, if you are by my side, it may be all the easier for me to find the right words. That's what we do. Theron, Malia, and Sula. Also, well, Sula looks determined to see this through. My heart is pounding, but the sooner this is done with, the better it shall be for both of us. I hope. And... I take it your patrol was fruitful. I've just administered a soothing salve to Pazarine's child. She's sleeping soundly now, so us speaking should not wake her. Pazarine, I, I, I'm sorry. I should not have said the things those... I should not have said all those horrible things before. I was not in my right mind. It was my fault my sister was killed. I stood frozen in fear when Dazar attacked. And yet it was all over the... Bef I placed the blame on you. I was the fool. No, Sula, you were right. It was all I... It was I who couldn't ease his troubles. 
it was my fault he succumbed to the despair that gnawed at his heart. We've all lost something. Yeah, we've yeah, all lost something, we've during, all lost this... something during this tragedy. Through no one's fault but fate. I see reason in your answer, of course, but forgiveness of the self is no simple matter. I am overjoyed to speak to you again, Hasula. However, I'm afraid I need more time to come to terms with everything that has occurred. Would I knew how much Pashirin was suffering, I could have been there to comfort her. Perhaps there is something I can do now. Something to set her upon the right path. <sighs> They're gonna keep us going all night with this. Yeah, I know. And we really kind of need to get that. <laughs> ah. Societal alchemy. Izan has one final request to make of you. It is plain that Pazarine is not yet ready to forgive herself, but I'm at a loss as to what we should do. Do we leave her be? Or is there some way we can help? I, for one, will not stand idly by while she suffers alone. Perhaps if she had something to remind her of her beloved, she would be more easy to accept his loss. Pashari never did have the chance to say her farewells. Therein, Prelia, I'm afraid I must ask your aid once more. Will I have it? It appears I shall be in your debt again, but it is well worth it. During the chaos, most of us fled to the northwest of the bridge. Let us retrace those steps, and we may find something that belonged to Dazar. Pick up anything that catches your eye, and we can share what we have found once we reach the bridge. Thank you for all you've done for Stula thus far. Her spirits are already much improved for your efforts. Let's hope we can f uh, we can affect the same change on Pazarine. Azar did enjoy his jewelry and baubles, so it isn't inconceivable that he may have dropped something as he fled. If you'd spy anything glittering in the brush, it wouldn't it couldn't hurt to pick it up. Right, jewelry in the brush. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And there's the bridge. Mm -hmm. Ah, and there's Sula. I pray we find at least one small trinket to remember him by. Over here. Oh, there's several around. glimmer of the object has caught your eye in the distance on closer inspection. It's just a rock. Better than what I found. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, make him melt fast, please. Thank you. Yeah. And whatever was here, I no longer have it to pick from. Yeah, and I don't see anything. Oh, there it anything. is. Because I'm to speak with Sula. Oh, no. Okay. Speak with Sola. Thought there was a third, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, that one seems to be the correct one or something. How goes the search? I found a necklace among the underbrush, 
One of Dazah's favorites, but it seems to be missing a jewel that made it shine so brilliantly. Oh, what's that in your hand? Uh, a jewel that shines brilliantly? Why, this is it. This is the very jewel I spoke of. We made an excellent team, eh? However, we cannot give this to Parashan as is. We first must needs repair it. Doubtless, Yilzan will have... Doubtless, Yilzan will be able to lend his expertise in that respect. Let us return to the village and speak with him. Why do we need him? I am a fully qualified goldsmith. You and me both! This is what I do! Yeah, but you're not specialized. I'm specialized in it. This is true. My my forte is woodworking and weaving. Yep. Woodworking, weaving, and alchemy! Yes. I'm not quite sure how alchemy is supposed to repair this thing, but if if that works, then you should be able to do it. Is that? Sula has told me all about your findings. Quite excitably, in fact. She's gone to find material so she can polish the necklace to a mere sheen. As for the jewel, I believe I can take it off your hands for the time being. Wait, wait, that's that's not a jewel, that's materia. <laughs> a jewel with subtle gold decorations. It appears it was one set in something. Yeah, like a sword. I mean, this is materia, come on. This repair should prove simple enough. Yes, so why aren't you letting me do it? Adhesive is one of the most elementary recipes. This is true. Once the necklace is in presentable shape, I'll bring Sula to visit Pazari. Could you go ahead and tell her to wait for us? We take longer than expected. I trust you can keep her enraptured with one of your grand tales. Hmm, you have something for me? I don't recall asking anything of you. No need to ask. Pasherine, we would like you to have this, please. This... this is Tazar's necklace! Oh, he was so proud of the day he bought this. How in the world did you find it? I had not but memories to remind me of him, but this... The sight of this makes me feel like he isn't that far away after all. There is nothing I could do to change the past, but we can work to help give us both a bright future. This is the least we can do. I could not have done it without the help of these two. Thank you for this gift, truly. And your wise words. I see now that you're right. We mustn't let the tragedies of yesterday keep us rooted in place. It all all it takes this. is a single step forward, but you must want to take it. Yep. Well said, well said. Might I add that wounds heal more quickly when a salve is applied to them. When we ignore the pain they cause, they rot. We must take action to see them healed, and rest when we are tired. Only when our energy returns can we move forward, carefully, one step at a time. Yes, one step at a time. Yes, I am. If it's if it isn't too much trouble, could I help care for the child? The scars of the recent tragedy are yet fresh to me to take care of her entirely by myself, but even so, it doesn't mean I cannot assist in some small way. I have my own child to look over, of course, but still, 
If you were to take the child under my wing, I would be happy to assist you whenever you need it. For the time being, I could be her wet nurse. Any medicine she requires would be your responsibility, I suppose. Together, we can see that she emerges from the, her affliction as hale as any newborn babe. That's a splendid idea. I must admit, I could hardly think of a better arrangement myself. I shall hunt and bring food for the child that she might grow strong like her father and mother. That is what Chapa would do. One step at a time, I shall make her proud. The emptiness I feel that Desar's loss will take some time to fill, but I believe that in time I will heal. He would want me to heal. Allow me to thank you once again for all you've done. We owe you more than we can replay. Now, I would like to see the child for myself. I'm not one for the subtleties of conversation, but I'd say that went as well as could be expected, wouldn't you? Now, come back to my workshop. There's something I'd like to give you. If you insist. A few gill and a lot of XP. Truth to be told, I'd already resolved to raise the child myself, but the prospect of having a helping hand is comforting indeed. I suppose the true work starts from here, eh? I'm glad to finally have good news to share with Kosaroff and Mevan. Ah, I've been so, pre uh, so occupied with treating the sick and injured that I've had little time to think of the departed. My friends really are gone, but I can still honor their memory. If anything has come clear, become clear from recent events, it's that the people of this settlement must speak with one another about their troubles. Solitary thoughts so quickly turn dark. I'm more than capable of treating the wounds we can see, but it takes a community to heal those that are hidden. I admit the latter prospect may take some time for me to become accustomed to. You'll find a way. Yeah. As an alchemist, a friend, and a father. I agree. Well, that there were more, uh, more than one of me, eh? Luckily, I know more than a few concoctions that will give me the vigor of several men. I only need to have the energy to brew them. <laughs> Regardless, I apologize for dragging you along all this time even though I doubt we would have arrived at such an amicable conclusion without you. So, I retract my apology. Although her parents are no longer with us, I must do my utmost to raise their child in a way that would meet with their approval. I owe my friends that much. Oh, and be prepared to be drowned in fish. Fishy? Because there's an Arkasoka fisherman who would more than be happy to help. Oh dear god. Oh. <laughs> oh god, that's gonna lead to an entire another story chain. Um Oh for oh, Yeah, we finished this up. We'll be ready to uh, to leave here next time. Yeah, great. What do you mean there's more? Yes, there's more. It's a linked chain back to uh, something we dealt with in the first city. I can tell by the image. <laughs> Tomorrow night. Yeah, though I'm debating whether we should uh, go collect a Stinian first. Opinions? That's good. 
Let's go talk to him. He'd never say it, but I think he'd be a little put out if we just let him to, uh, left him to hold up a wall all by himself for a day. I mean, there's being a lone wolf, and then there's being forgotten. This is very true. Alice. How do you suppose the others have fared in the capital? I hope things have not been too eventful in our absence. I have apprised Estinian of the situation at Palaka's stand, so we needn't have that conversation. <sighs> Brostinian? Estinian! <laughs> Alphano has told me everything. Full glad am I to hear that people are safe. Likewise, you will be pleased to know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruins. Could seem you finished off the last of them. Trying times yet lie ahead for the people of Thavnir. Fortunately, they have a wise and benevolent satrap to shepherd them through. Speaking of which, I received word from Thancred not, to, uh, not a short while ago. He awaits our return to the city on Elzaldal's uh, uh, path. Come. Yeah, um... Will be a while. Don't yeah. wait up. Sorry, guys. Um... Yeah. <laughs> back to the stand and back to that tomorrow. Yes. It's like, we were done with all the side quests and then there were more side quests. <laughs> and now there's more side quests. No, it's just one. One really long side quest chain. <laughs> no, no, no. They put a side quest in our side quest so we can side quest while we're side questing. I see. <laughs> uh... Really, guys? Well, there's a nice campfire here we can sit and chill at. In any case, we will see you all tomorrow night. Uh, we'll probably be on at 9.30. Yeah. And we'll just take it from there. Hopefully we'll finish up the side quest chain and then head off to get back on the MSQ. Knock on wood. Someday. If they, they don't let give us, us free. If they don't give us more side quests. Yeah, quest for I, I'm our a little side concerned quests. that we're going to go do this, go to the other town and find it has another eight. <laughs> Don't curse us. Because I know there's actually a side quest waiting for us back at the Razatan. Uh, and the capital, yeah. I can believe that one. One that's going to last us until level 90. <laughs> It's called our roll quest. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, it was only a matter of time. In any case, we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Be safe. Yes. Stay well. Sleep well. And we'll see you later. Yeah, everyone have a good night. And especially you, Octi, the only person who's actually here at this moment. <laughs> There's a few others lurking, for... but she Octi's the one who's actually been uh, talkative, which is nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good night. Good night.